Hey everybody, hope everyone's doing well um, today. It's Monday again. Um, sorry for no uploads last week. I had to have a mental week. Um, I do suffer a little bit from depression and last week I was just not myself. I had no energy to do anything. I was feeling a bit down in the dumps and extremely lonely. So I didn't put a video out, which I apologize for. Um, but yeah, I'm back this week and hopefully things will, will be getting better now. Um, anyway, I'm just going to answer a couple questions on today's video um, about how I make money here in Slovakia and also the cost of living. So I'll start with the cost of living here in Slovakia. And as much as people like to think it's really cheap, it, it's it's not really that cheap anymore, especially when you consider the minimum wage here and the price of the rent in that at the moment. Um, where we are in, uh, well, in Ruzhenbarok, a three bedroom place goes for about six, between five and 600 euros a month. I'm not sure whether that includes gas and electric, um, I'm not clued up on the rent in that here because we own our house outright, so we don't pay a mortgage or anything like that uh, at the moment. So we're very lucky when, in that sense. As far as food and everything goes, we spend, for a family of four of us, we spend about 100 euros to 150 euros a week. Um, you can do it a lot cheaper, but we like to eat a lot of fresh ingredients if we can. Um, we also tend to eat quite healthy. So we do spend a little bit more on a bit of a higher quality produce. I mean, it, it's still 150 euros a week for four people isn't really a lot of money, but it does add up. And um, yeah, so that just gives you some sort of idea. As far as going out for drinks or something, I went out for a beer yesterday with the missus. Uh, there's a football club here uh, down the road from us. And uh, a pint of beer was one euro 25 um, and a glass of kofola uh, for the kids I think was a euro I'm not entirely sure but I know for four drinks it worked out to I think it was four euros something so it's not that bad as far as food play in places like that go a large pizza is four euros um, I did remember all these prices because I had it I thought I'd be doing this video um, so it is it, it's affordable but like I say you, it depends on what what you're earning um, and how much min money you've got to spend every month so that brings me to the next um, part of this video is what do I do here in Slovakia to make make money um, as far as job go I don't have a job here um, I'm volunteering at the school on the 20th I'm there for a week giving uh, conversational English lessons well not lessons really I think it's just more of a just to, just to show the like some of the kids um, to sit down and have a chat with them and the teachers have asked me to come in and do it so I'm happy to do that excuse the noise of the geese um, as far as work goes I do I mostly work online um, I do affiliate marketing and I've got a website that I sell shirts and hoodies and that sort of thing on um, the affiliate marketing I do through blogging uh, if you look in my description here you'll see I'll have uh, links for the, like the camera I use and the microphone and that I use um, and that's all affiliate links so basically what happens is I'll explain it with Amazon for example because that's what I use most of you'll go onto Amazon you can go onto Google and type in um, Amazon affiliate or Amazon associates you'll sign up um, as an Amazon associate and you'll get a unique uh, you'll get like a, a unique dashboard I can go into this further if anybody's interested and through that dashboard you can create yourself links or banners and stuff like that and anybody who makes a purchase through your link you'll earn a small percentage of the um, total price of their order it doesn't have to be the product that they've clicked on let's say for example you want to have a look at what camera I'm using you click on the link and then you realize I need some nappies for the kids and I need to get myself a new TV and you buy that I will still get a, a small percentage of uh, your purchase as a profit um, that doesn't affect your price at all but that's Amazon's way of sort of thanking me for sending you to their website basically for driving traffic to Amazon so I earn some money through affiliate marketing um, it's taken it's been a long hard road to get to that uh, to the point I'm at now um, it's probably about two years maybe a bit longer and it took me six months to make my first um, euro on there I made a euro 24 as my first sale and that was uh, someone clicked through on a product and didn't buy anything I was recommending or I had in my links of uh, like recommendations and they actually bought a set of knives or something uh, for their kitchen so I earned one euro I think it was one euro 24 I might be a little bit off on the price but yeah that that's so that was my first sale it was a huge um, moment for me I know it's excuse the wind if there's any wind noise 
Uh, I know it's not a huge amount of money, but it, like I said in my video about my future plans and that here with buying the van, I always need a proof of concept. And that first sale for me was, it told me that I was doing something right and I just needed to carry on. And I've managed now to get up to around 450 to 500 euros a month steadily for the last two or three months. And that's slowly, slowly going up with the more traffic I get to my website and the more links that are clicked and the more purchases that are made. I don't only use Amazon for my affiliate sales on my website, but once you, once you start, Amazon is the easiest thing to, to get into. Uh, the easiest yeah it's the easiest affiliate program to get into in my opinion i'm not an expert at this i'm, I'm just telling you what i'm doing because it was asked um i also when we first moved here i was i'd already bought um there's two softwares called affinity photo and affinity designer uh, and they're very similar to photoshop but it's a one-time price and it's a hell of a lot cheaper and it's very functional and yeah you can do all most of the stuff you can do in photoshop and that anyway uh, and I use that to design, I, I taught myself how to design shirts, uh, like branded shirts and logo shirts. And it's like a theme of shirts. And I started selling those on Teespring and Redbubble. You can do this from anywhere in the world and it costs you nothing, li like literally nothing to get started. You, you will need a lot of shirt designs and you will need a lot of, because uh, you can do stickers, shirts, phone cases, all that sort of thing. I tend to stick to shirts and uh, hoodies. And once I got, again, proof of concept, once I started making uh, regular sales on those two websites, I decided to branch out and I opened a Shopify shop. And then I've advertised that through um, Facebook ads as well as Instagram, which I've been slowly growing an Instagram theme page, for example. I don't know if anybody, you must know what a theme page is. For example, if you like Lord of the Rings, for example, you'll follow a Lord of the uh, rings theme page on Instagram. I've got something not Lord of the Rings, but I've got a theme page and I've built that up to 20,000 23,000 uh, followers and I use that for free advertising. So every time I put up a uh, design a new shirt or something I'll post a photo on there as well and that brings in a few sales every month. Um, as far as sales go on my Shopify store, I'm probably doing about 200 300 euros a month profit on there as well. That, that varies as well, depending on how Facebook ads and everything go. I mean, it's always, it's, it's a difficult thing to get into. But that cost me, Shopify cost me, I think it's 20, I think 25 euros or something a month. It's, it's not expensive. But like I say, you can start on um, Redbubble or Teespring or something similar for free. Uh, and that's all print on demand. So on Shopify, I use Printful. Um, to do all my stuff so basically what happens is you do a mock-up of your shirt with a picture on or whatever you want to sell and then uh someone purchases it they get the order through they print the shirt and they send it to your customer and it's just as simple as that um and that's about it really i'm not i'm not rolling in money by any stretch of the imagination i'm making enough to live on and i'm working hard every day online i've started this youtube channel just to show people slovakia and i've got a lot of free time because like i say the the blogging in that is extremely hard work, especially up front. Um, not especially, especially. And um, like for the first 90 days, I followed a guy on uh, YouTube, his name's Miles Beckler, and I doubled down on the first 90 days and I did a blog post for the, every day for the first 90 days. I didn't care about quality. I didn't care how my website looked. I just did it to put my mindset into the creative mindset. And I've been away with it since then. I love writing. Writing is not for everybody and there's a lot of research involved. But like I say, it's definitely a business that anybody can get into um, regardless of your of your skills or anything. I mean, I, if I can build a website having no experience before, then anybody can. And I mean, it's, it's really easy. Not, well, um, it's not really easy to do, but building the website and setting it all up is, is pretty easy to do. And it took it'll take a couple hours to get your head around the back dashboard and everything but once you've done it it's fine i mean i've done i built a website for someone the other day or two weeks ago and it took me three days to build the whole website out and there was a lot involved it wasn't just one or two pages and they were really happy with it It was a professional looking website shopify is even easier but like i say if you're going to start doing shirts or anything like that start on something like redbubble or teespring which is completely free you just got to upload your own designs and then you'll make a small the only problem is the profits are smaller on redbubble and that you make a few euros per shirt as, or, uh, as opposed to like if you got your own website I'm making anything from 5 to 10 to 15 euros per item depending on what the item is that sells. 
And that's about it, guys. There's nothing special. I'm, I don't do anything special. We, I'm very cheap. I don't do a lot at the moment because I want to make sure I'm earning a sufficient income here in Slovakia first before we start jumping into traveling a lot more and that. Um, the pandemic hit me hard. I lost my business and I was in a really dark place and I still I still suffer from it. I mean, I was that's when I started with this depression and it comes and goes, comes and goes because some days you wake up and you feel like nothing's going your way. Um, but yeah, just push through and yeah, this will be I'm not going to be making a lot of videos or making money online or anything like that, guys. Don't worry about it. But someone asked and I felt like I have to answer it. And I mean, maybe there are a few people who are curious anyway. It's like, what's this guy doing? He's always at home. There you go. That's what I do. Um, and that's as far as it goes, guys. It's easy as that. Um, not easy, but you know what I mean. Uh, yeah, I don't know what else to tell you. <laughs> um, anyway, I'll get back to you guys tomorrow with another video. And I hope uh, this video was helpful for, to anybody. Um, they're not all going to be like this. And I will see you tomorrow. Peace.